Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Grand Photo 5 Mods video. Today we're going to do a little bit of construction, a little bit of Department of Transportation. We're going to kind of mix them together. So right now we are on Interstate 2. We have our utility truck. This is the new utility truck that comes with the working script by PNW Parks fan. We can actually lift this thing up and lower it down. It's still in beta testing, but if you guys would like to check this out, it will be linked down below. Uh, you guys can get it by joining the Parks Benefit their program so anyway guys let's go ahead and get started uh, let's head down interstate 2 here and looks like we have a traffic jam so I think Department of Transportation already has the road shut down am I gonna be able to get this big old truck through I hope so uh, I'm gonna try to squeeze past over here Alright, so we also have the Department of Transportation trucks. Those you could also get from the PNW Parks Fan Benefactor program as well. A lot of these mods that we are using today, they are still in beta testing, which is why they are not publicly released yet. So, what we are going to do is, let me just first pull my truck right here. Alright, so our plan today, guys, is to repair this sign and this barrier up here as you can see a vehicle hit it they knocked it down and damaged it so we're going to use the utility truck to try to fix this whole thing so it should be pretty cool make sure you guys stick around to see all of that now what we're going to do first is hop into the uh, dot truck here the message board truck and we're going to what do i have to do first i have to Put up the sign so uh, let's go over here now while we're working we just have traffic completely stopped until we can get everything ready to go Alright, so we're going to set up this first sign here, and we are going to go to current trailer, grades the board. Alright, let's go with slow down road work, that should work. Perfect, and we'll go ahead and release this trailer, and there's another one over there, so let's see if we can do the same thing over on that side. Traffic is really piling up, this is so crazy guys. This is insane how much traffic is here. <laughs> Alright, we gotta work fast because next thing you know, traffic is gonna be backed up to Sandy Shores at this rate. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing with this side. Perfect, slow down, road work ahead. Oh, I didn't mean to move it with us. All right, so that should have traffic start to slow down. Next thing we're gonna do is put down cones. All right, let's raise our board and let's just do arrows to the left for now. And let's start putting down some cones. Alright, so for this we are going to use Scene Manager, and we'll use just the standard large cones. Oh, some of these vehicles got through a little barrier there. So once we have the whole site secure, we can start working and use the utility truck to get up and fix that barrier.
Alright, so that should be enough cones. And we should be good to start releasing traffic now. Alright, so let me get all of these guys out of the street and let's move these trucks out the way. Okay, so we're going to change this message to right lane closed, arrow to the left. And we'll do the same thing with this one. Alright, perfect. So let me get everybody out of the street and we can let traffic start coming through. Alright, so we have all lanes open up for traffic. Let's make sure that everybody is driving okay and they're able to get through our construction site. So far, so good. So for this part of the video, what we did was we used Scene Manager to put down paths, which direct traffic to the other lanes. Basically, we could put them wherever we want them to go. And it looks like it's working okay. We did have this guy slip through. He probably missed the collector and just put him over there. They should catch one. Great. Alright, so it looks like we are now somewhat safe to start working. As long as nobody comes through these cones, we should be fine. Alright, that looks awesome. Alright, so all that's left to do now, guys, is to get the utility truck into position so we can inspect the bridge and figure out if it is uh, safe for us to repair. I mean, hopefully it is safe. I mean, we do have traffic going under it. I think, I think it's fine. So let's hop back into the utility truck now. And we are going to back this thing up. Whoa, where did he come from? He's not supposed to be in that lane. Alright, I do have to get kind of close here. I think here should be good. So first thing we want to do is put down the stabilizers. Alright. And now, let's hop into the bucket. Let's get a hard hat on too. Alright, time for the fun part to get into the bucket. Okay, we are in. Let's go ahead and face this way and let's start lifting this thing up. Alright, so yeah, this was damaged very badly as you can see. This concrete looks like it's about to fall, so we're going to need to get maybe a, another truck or like an excavator or something to try to knock down the rest of this so it doesn't fall onto anybody. Uh, what we're going to do, we have a, uh, what is this, a forklift and some concrete barriers, so we're going to lift those up and set them here for now until we're able to completely fix this thing. But this, this bucket truck is really cool, being able to do all of this stuff. All 
Maybe what we can do is uh, try to cut this off. Well, you know, I should have a welding helmet on. But let's see if we can maybe cut some of this off here. This sign looks like it got uh, pushed. Yeah, this sign got pushed a little bit too, so we're gonna have to replace the sign. And yep, this one over here too. Alright, so um, this is gonna be an extended operation, unfortunately. We're gonna have to get some more parts for this, but for now, well, let's see if we could just put these concrete barriers into place. I'm gonna try to see if I can get out and jump up here without falling. Oh, nice. All right, so let's hop into the forklift. Oh, All right, so let's try to set this into place. Again, this is just going to be a temporary fix. I think right about there should be good. So let's go ahead and lower this thing down now. Now I kind of had to just improvise with menu to put these into place. There is a working forklift that comes with coastal callouts, but unfortunately I wasn't even planning to do all of this and I didn't install coastal callouts. Um, or I don't have it activated, I should say. I think I have the DLC not in. So because of that, we are doing this kind of like the unofficial way. Alright, let's get the last one. I'm gonna have to go into the straight for this one. Hopefully traffic doesn't hit us. Imagine if I just drop this thing on this guy's car. Oh, that's really close. Almost hit him. Yeah. Alright, this last one is going to go right here, and then we are done. Alright, and we are done. Let's head back down and take a look at everything. Looks good to me. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. I think we did a good job. Um, I'm going to carefully try to get back into the bucket now. Alright. 
Alright, bucket is activated again. And I think we did a good job, guys. So like I said, we're going to have to eventually get like some heavy equipment and knock down the rest of this. But for now, we did what we had to do. So really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's see how it looks from down here. All right, that looks good enough for me, guys. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. And let me know, what did you guys think of this video? Do you guys want to see some more DLT and construction and some more work with the utility truck? Definitely let me know down below in the comment section. And if you have any ideas, let me know what else you guys would like to see me do. But again, huge shout outs to PNW Parks fan for making all of these awesome mods that we are using. Um, also, a shout out to Rich with the scene manager that we used as well. And if you guys would like to download any of these mods, they will be linked down below in the video description. So again, thank you so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.